Good morning from Malaga, Spain. Greg and I are off to a hike. We are climbing the Pico de Mijas. It's on the Costa del Sol and I think there's going to be incredible views. Plus, we've got good weather on our side. And it all starts right now. Let's go. Right, good morning. It is about 7 a.m. here in Malaga, and the reason we're up so early, it's actually not that early, but the reason it's still dark is because we're trying to catch a train down the coast to a place called Fuengirola, and that is the town like just down from Mijas. Mijas is actually a pueblito. I featured it in the last video, no, the second last video, and uh, it's a beautiful little part of Costa del Sol, Spain, and there's a mountain above the town. So we're gonna go meet two friends and do a hike from Mijas Pueblo up to the top of the Pico. So if you're uh, watching this because of SEO and you wanna do this hike, you're in for a treat because we're gonna give you all the information you need to know. <laughs> We're in the car, Joanna, one of our friends from the travel blogging world has picked us up. She's been living here for quite a while and uh, runs a blog called The World In My Pocket, yeah. .co.uk. I probably would have said .com, but <laughs> she reminded me just now. And uh, we're going up to Mijas to meet your friend, uh, Lynn. Lynn. Lynn is from Norway? Yeah, she's from Norway and she's an expert uh, in mountain climbing and hiking. Mm -hmm. uh, she's already done this hike like a million times. So we're in good hands. All right, it's gonna be fun. And Oana is from Romania. Yep. And Nelly's from Germany. Right. And Greg's from Canada. So we got quite the international crew going up this mountain. We've made it to Mijas Pueblo. This town is a white-walled little village in Andalusia. Absolutely beautiful destination uh, just outside of Malaga and Marbella and Nelly actually made a video about this town What like a week ago now? Do you remember? What? Yeah, yeah last week <laughs> Last week yeah. so go and check out her video on her channel because it's really good and it got lots of love too I think it did from the, Mijas Pueblo and the whole region I yeah, think the Yeah, the people here shared it because they're so proud of their town as For they should be Yeah, this place is amazing we are here pretty early, which is good. There's nobody around. It's Saturday morning today. Uh, so we're gonna get up to the top of the mountain before the heat of the day really hits us. So that's the idea with hiking here. You wanna get up early and get up there and get back down so that you're not you know, there at like one o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon under that midday sun. And it's February right now, so beautiful temperature, nice weather, still cold enough for the little down jacket, but it'll be pretty hot real soon. I'm still talking, just give me the eye. <laughs> Lynn from Norway and begun the hike Pico de Mijas on the Costa del Sol in Spain. Looks like it's gonna be quite the trek. She said it takes between five and seven hours depending on how quick you are. So that is a full day. And it sounds like we're going up to about 1,500 meters. And uh, we're probably starting from like maybe 500 or so. So might be almost, whew, probably like 750 meter gain maybe more I'm not exactly sure what altitude we're starting from but i guess it's probably under a, under a kilometer to get up but pretty serious thousand meters you know that's not a small day trip
the trail is uh, marked with these colors, which uh, tells you which trail you're on. And it's not really that easy to follow them all the time, but uh, you will see the signs all, all the way. I'm realizing now that I grossly underestimated the, uh, the length of time for this hike. Down in Mijas Pueblo, I remember saying that you probably don't want to be up here in like the middle of the day. Well, it's like 12.30 now and we are just past halfway up. Look at these views. Stunning, such a beautiful area. And we're lucky that it's February because it's probably only about 20 degrees, there's no wind just perfect temperature for hiking. Not that many people on the trail. So Nelly and I are taking a nice little break and this is the perfect place to fly the drone. Let's get up in the air and show you a little bit of these hills. Above the clouds, amazing. We made it to the top. <sighs> that was exhausting. It's not too bad, like three and a half hours. Yeah, nothing really. Yeah, which we didn't really we expect. We do that every day, so. Yeah, very normal. <laughs> Spanish Costa del Sol. If you are looking to do this hike, be well prepared. Uh, the top also isn't that spectacular. It looks like a, like a what astronomical area. I don't know. Yeah, like a cell Mi tower. Yeah, maybe? cell weather towers, cell towers for like telecommunications, I guess. Yeah. So it's not like you get up here and there's this beautiful 360 view. But there's you know. amazing views while you hike up. So some sections of the hike are really really nice, especially that last one. I really mm. enjoyed. And yeah, you've got those beautiful views all the way to the to the sea, to the Mediterranean, and it's definitely worth it, I think, the hike. But you should bring enough water. Like, it is definitely hot. Even now, in February, it's hot, mm -hmm. and you'll need a lot of water. Yeah, water and snacks, and it yeah. looks like the clouds are rolling in off mm. the med right now. So I don't know how long we're gonna stay up here. I think we'll wait for uh, Joanna and, and uh, Lynn to catch us up. Yeah. And then maybe just 10 minutes at the top and back down. It's probably gonna take two hours to get back down. Yeah, so I think coming early here would probably be an advantage too because the mm -hmm. clouds probably roll in in the afternoon. Yeah, and it, I bet it gets windy too. Like today's right. really not yeah, bad. Yeah, there's no wind today. Yeah. The, the lesson learned is get up even earlier. Yeah. Like you wanna be starting hiking at like 8.30. Yeah. Even earlier, really. Absolutely. But, yeah. Anyway, let's enjoy it a bit and then we'll head down. Yeah. And we are back down. <laughs> and I guess well, it worked. That was pretty easy, right? <laughs> it was. Like, 
I who like said, that. Who said you need to go hiking at all? You just like get on YouTube and magically you're back down with a drink in your hand. So very good. It's the end of our day. A fantastic video. It ends up uh, so the the town is actually at 500 meters and the peak I was wrong this morning it's 1150 meters so we still had like a what a 650 meter vertical gain oh, 700 yeah, yeah 750 probably, which yeah. is a big day because for Mijas sure. Pueblo is already at like 400 no meters? it's at 500 500 yeah it's okay. at 500 but big day either way big day <laughs> and uh, ended up being a lot longer than we thought uh, so if you are thinking about doing Pico de Mijas Give yourself like at least six hours. Uh, yeah, at least. Yeah. It yeah. took us seven because we stopped a lot for taking pictures and video. Um, yeah, and took it slow. But yeah, we yeah, could have done, done it faster. We could have done faster. Yeah. But I think if you're looking to do it, definitely get up early, have lots of water, have some snacks, um, follow the signs, follow the trails. Yeah. And, uh, and you're in for a, an awesome day with absolutely. great views. Absolutely. The views are uh, absolutely amazing. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. We hope you liked the video. And we'll see you on the next one because we are going to compare what's in our camera bags. Oh, yeah. That's happening. Are you ready? I am. But <laughs> not yet. Okay. Okay, bye. 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 What? Bye. What? Bye. 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 Bye.